What advice would you give to parents these days with children online and what particular apps and different things like that? Or is there none of them off limits? Well, I think you have to be careful with the apps that kids have. I think you have to realize that these games are interactive. And I think you have to start with a discussion, age appropriate. And it begins with, you know, the very first time your kids go online. And you have to say something to the effect of, look, you need to know that, one, there are grownups out there who like to trick kids online. And kids don't like to be tricked. And so just because somebody says that they're your age and wants to talk doesn't mean they're really your age. It could be a fat old man in his basement sitting in his underwear surrounded by empty pizza boxes. So not everybody online is who they say they are. And if you don't know somebody in real life, you shouldn't be talking to them or giving out personal details on the internet. It's just plain and simple. And I think that's the starting point. And as kids get older, um, you know, when I was growing up, the advice was don't talk to strangers. Good advice then, good advice now. But the problem is the person who's a stranger on a Wednesday because they're so adept at grooming children is not a stranger by the time, you know, Friday and Saturday roll around. So it's really being aware. And, and look, you know, the parents buy the computer. The parents own the computer. The parents are allowed to check the computer. And, and there are, are softwares out there that will trigger alerts if personal information is given. And, you know, there's a lot of great software out there and there's, you know, new stuff that comes out every, every year. But in terms of sites that are off limits, you know, you, you gotta be careful. This stuff can happen on TikTok. I mean, TikTok's wonderful and entertaining and great and people get a lot of information from it. YouTube is great and wonderful, but as we've seen, you know, in our Onision and Real Life investigation on Discovery Plus, you know, there was a guy who was very popular with, with teen girls, uh, some even younger than teens, who ended up preying upon them, bullying them, abusing them, getting pictures from them, and, and in some cases having relationships with, you know, kids who were as young as 16 years old. And it happens, it's not just him, it happens over and over again. Um, you know, there's a guy we profiled in a YouTube piece that came out just last week who professes that uh, uh, it's okay to have intimate relationships with 14 year old girls. I mean, this, and these guys are out there and YouTube allows this to happen. Yeah. In many and, uh, cases. Funny you should mention that I uploaded a clip um, on YouTube about an hour ago and it, I had a member of the European parliament, a politician on my podcast last week, and he's a big advocator for the legalization of marijuana in Ireland. So I put the clip up and it got flagged and I got an email saying people are going to have to sign in and be 18 to view that clip. So when you're oh, yeah. telling me, so when you're telling me something like that, it just doesn't make any sense. 